Dun, da, da, dun, dun, dun. U.S. News and World Report has voted the Mediterranean diet to be the number one diet in the world for six years in a row. But what about weight loss? Well, they also rate the Mediterranean diet very high for weight loss as well. Not so high for losing weight fast, but that's a good thing because you don't want to lose weight fast. Today, I'm going to tell you about how to lose weight and how I lost 50 pounds and kept it off for years eating the Mediterranean diet in a modified way. This just in. Thank you, Mr. Cameraman. A recent study published in the Diabetes, Obesity, and Metabolism Journal showed that people who ate the traditional Mediterranean diet and exercised 30 to 45 minutes three or more times per week lost an average of 16 pounds over a year. Those who ate a lower carbohydrate modified Mediterranean diet and exercised 30 to 45 minutes per week lost an average of 22 pounds over a year. Another study published in the British Journal of Nutrition found that among 565 adults who had lost at least 10% of their body weight over the previous year, those who adhered to the Mediterranean diet were two times more likely to maintain their weight than those who didn't follow the Mediterranean diet. So the bottom line is that even if you eat just a regular traditional Mediterranean diet, you are most likely going to lose weight. To learn more about the authentic Mediterranean diet, check out our video here. But now we're going to talk about the basics of the modified Mediterranean diet for weight loss, the one that helped me to lose 50 pounds. If you go anywhere in the Mediterranean, you're going to find that people eat a lot of bread and quite a lot of grains in general. But on the modified Mediterranean diet for weight loss, you still can eat bread, you still can eat pasta and things like that, but you want to cut back. And when a lot of people talk about uh, losing weight, they say, we're going on a low carb diet, but you're still going to be eating a lot of the carbs that are in the Mediterranean diet, such as carbs that are in beans, vegetables, fruit, those kind of carbs are fine, but you want to cut back on grains. So what I recommend is usually to eat about three servings of grains per day. So that would include bread, rice, pasta, and other whole grains. If you ever go to the Mediterranean, one thing you'll know is that people love to eat. What is it that you really like to do? Eat. <laughs> one of the sayings is, we eat with abandon. Now, when you're trying to lose weight, eating with total abandon is probably not a great idea. So, what you want to do is eat until you're almost full when you're at meals. Maybe eat one plate and not go back for seconds or thirds. And also not eat a lot of snacks throughout the day. You want to have a mild hunger, but you don't want to ever be hangry. And this is going to definitely help you with weight loss. Speaking of snacks, if you are hungry throughout the day, like in between meals, it's okay to have something. I usually have like a piece of fruit. Um, if you're really hungry, you might want to have a piece of fruit and a small protein, like a piece of cheese or some nuts or some hummus, something like that. Um, but generally speaking, I try not to eat a lot of snacks when I'm trying to lose weight. The other thing is that for desserts, people in the Mediterranean almost always eat a piece of fruit. So that's what I try to do when I have a little bit of a sweet craving after eating a meal. I have an apple or an orange and then I'm done. And I also know that I'm done. So I, I use that as kind of a cue so that I won't be eating later on after I've eaten my dinner. I have the piece of fruit and I'm like, okay, that's it. And I enjoy the fruit and I have some sweetness and I'm good. Another part of the traditional Mediterranean diet that we're going to want to modify is that in some parts of the Mediterranean, they drink alcohol and they drink it on a pretty regular basis. And I say that when you're trying to lose weight, you might want to ditch the alcohol. And there's two reasons. One is because it's just a liquid calorie. And when you eat liquid calories, you don't eat any less food. And second is drinking alcohol can decrease your inhibitions a bit and make it less likely that you're going to follow a good Mediterranean diet and follow the, the uh, not getting too hungry thing and maybe eat more than you should. 
Another part of the traditional Mediterranean diet is that they tend to eat quite a lot of fermented foods, such as yogurt and vinegars and things like that. But when you're trying to lose weight, I recommend trying to eat fermented foods almost every day, maybe even a couple times a day. And the reason for that is that it helps with your gut microbiome. And the gut microbiome has been shown to help with weight loss if you have a good gut microbiome. And most people have an out of balance gut microbiome. And the way that you help your gut microbiome, eating fermented foods and eating lots of different types of fruits and vegetables. And that also is part of the traditional Mediterranean diet. For more information on how to lose weight with fermented foods, check out the article that's linked below from MediterraneanLiving.com. This is my bottom line formula for the best way to lose weight. Begin by eating healthy, delicious food and moving. This is gonna help you to feel better. Feeling better is gonna help you to have more energy. And having more energy and feeling better is gonna help you to lose weight. So that's it. I hope you have a successful and enjoyable weight loss journey.